States of America. I'm an ex veteran. I watch your program, I realize your American flag is hanging wrong. The blue field is only on the right hand side on a veteran's casket. Good night. This is the first time I've seen the program, but I'll certainly see it again. It's frightening how little people know about Russia invaded Georgia, that Joe Biden was Obama's running mate. My word, where are these people in the world? Are they only interested in going to Federal Hill and having pasta and booze? Ugh, disgusting. Yeah, I just don't think that the, the American taxpayer should be stiff with the uh, with the uh, financial crisis bailout, thinking that all the uh, financial gurus are getting over millions of dollars pay kickback and pays. It's not fair to uh, the taxpayers that the uh, few in power, predominantly the Jews, are controlling the financial institutions and getting whatever they so desire. And also, it's time for a change to the top that you verify for the illegal immigrants. And so it's come time to have that uh, in, 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 put in place because they uh, check background checks on Americans. Why not check background checks, true background checks, and illegal immigrants are stealing Americans' jobs. Americans don't want to do home improvements, construction, service jobs. I mean, even the kids in, in the summertime can't find jobs anymore because of the massive illegal immigrant problem in Rhode Island and also all over the country. Thank you very much. I would like to tell you of how Warwick has roots in two historical events that have formed and sculpted our American culture as we know it, and the repercussions of these events have been felt around the world, each of which lies on opposite ends of the spectrum, and the cost is our liberties. Warwick is the only place in the country that can claim the roots to these two stunning events. It was here, in the Patuxent Village section of Warwick in 1772, where Rhode Island Patriots took the first organized military action towards independence by attacking and burning the hated British revenue schooner HMS Gatsby. This was America's first blow for freedom that led directly to the establishment of the Permanent Committee of Correspondence, unifying the individual colonies and starting the process of the American Revolution. This is celebrated on the first Saturday of each June with an arts and crafts festival along with the famous Gatsby Days Parade that thousands attend every year. In 1775, the Revolutionary War began when the colonies sought to detach from England and their repressive monarchy. There were many reasons cited for the revolution, one in particular sticks out as the prime cause. King George III outlawed the interest-free, independent currency the colonies were producing and using for themselves, forcing them to borrow money from the Central Bank of England at interest, immediately putting the colonies into debt. And as Benjamin Franklin later wrote, the refusal of King George III to allow the colonies to operate an honest money system which freed the ordinary man from the clutches of the money manipulators 
was probably the prime cause of the revolution. 1783, America won its independence from England. However, the battle from the central bank concept and the corrupt, greed-filled men associated with it had just begun. Now in contrast to the first fight for freedom, the burning of the HMS Gatsby, Walk is also the hometown of a once powerful figure in American history. U.S. politician was born in Foster and lived in Warwick. Nelson W. Aldrich was once a very influential figure in Rhode Island politics. He served as member and president of the Providence Civic Council, a member and speaker of the House, a member of U.S. Congress. He was elected to U.S. Senate in 1881. Aldrich had very important financial interests in Rhode Island and elsewhere. He became such a leading figure in the Senate and in the national government that he was often referred to as the general manager of the United States. By the turn of the century, he controlled the Senate for the Republicans on domestic issues, ruthlessly defending big businesses in a high protective tariff. In 1908, Senator Nelson W. Aldrich of Rhode Island introduced an amendment to establish an income tax after he denounced it as being communistic in 1894. Congress moved to revise the monetary system by creating the National Monetary Commission led by U.S. Senator Nelson W. Aldrich of Rhode Island as chairman in 1908, and the National Reserve Association which eventually became the Federal Reserve System. Senator Aldrich was seen as the embodiment of the Eastern Establishment, the perception by Southern and Western states that the wealthy families and large corporations of the Northeast ran the country. Aldrich was viewed as the authentic voice of J.P. Morgan. His daughter later married the son of John D. Rockefeller. With the support from these powerful bankers, Aldrich bribed, deceived, and lied to Congress in order to pass this law during the holiday break on December 23, 1913, while most of them was away with their families. The corrupted President Woodrow Wilson signed the Aldrich Bill that immediately became the Federal Reserve Act, creating the Federal Reserve Bank and giving a privately owned bank the power granted originally to Congress by the U.S. Constitution to coin money and to regulate the value at interest along with the unconstitutional federal income tax. President Wilson later wrote, I am a most unhappy man. I have unwittingly ruined my country. A great industrial nation is controlled by its system of credit. We are no longer a government by free opinion, no longer a government by conviction and the vote of the majority, but a government by the opinion and the duress of small groups of dominant men. Three miles south from where the HMS Gatsby was set on fire lies the Aldridge Mansion. With the prime shoreline real estate, the Aldridge Mansion is one of the most extravagant homes in Warwick, with a breathtaking view of Narragansett Bay. Ironically, if you were standing here in the back of the property overlooking the water in 1772, the burning HMS Gatsby would have been in sight. Two miles west to where the burning Gatsby took place lies a high school named in honor of Nelson W. Aldridge that was constructed in 1920. Schools transformed into a junior high school grades 7 and 8 in 1962, which myself have spent two wonderful years attending, which makes these events even more intriguing on a personal level. By the way, Federal Reserve Bank is partially owned by the Central Bank of England, which is now known as World Bank. Welcome to my hometown, Warwick, Rhode Island. Your economic freedom started and ended. This concludes this program broadcast. We the People, a freedom of speech television show. Go to www.wethepeopleofri.org.